Okay, let's uh, make some uh, final adjustments to the face. Uh, let's identify the nose and uh, maybe a little bit of a cheekbone. Let's make sure that we've got our symmetry here. There we go, and we are going to grab all of these faces all the way this all the way out here and we're gonna extrude let's use our extrude here that's just a little bit of an offset so we can see what we're doing because as soon as we're gonna go to our um, regular mode low poly mode everything is gonna be very weird looking okay so uh, let's just kind of relax all of this and we're going to take all these points we can actually grab edges and points these will go much more this is actually going to be the side of the nose right there where the crease occurs right here these points and these points are going to be used to actually extend the wings of the nose this way. Definitely a mess in a low poly mode. We may need to do some very minor retopologizing here. Uh, what I mean by that is uh, spin some of these edges around. We're actually going to do a little bit of that with the cheekbone as well. So let's go ahead and uh, do that. So we've got under uh, edit mesh, we've got spin edge backwards, spin edge forward, which is control alt left and control alt right. Uh, those are the hotkeys. So here I'm selecting this edge and I'm gonna spin this like that. Notice that this looks so much more relaxed, much better, much more even flowing uh, and it will give us a better definition for the for the nose and the nostrils here. So 
so the rest the rest is basically we're gonna we can grab a couple of edges of faces here primarily these ones and start extruding the nostrils but we can just leave it this way I think that's good enough to identify and not to get too much into details And the same thing we're gonna do with uh, with the chick right here. Uh, if we do want to give it a chick bone a little bit more definition, what we can uh, have here is uh, add an edge. We can either do it right here, or we can do it a little bit lower below. Let's uh, let's see. How that would work. Let's grab our cut face tool and let's actually do it here. So we're gonna go from the corner somewhere in the middle and come back here. Let's hit enter. So what that does it gives us a um, quad right there which we can actually delete this edge and we're back to all quads. So now you can see that there is a little bit more definition to the cheeks. However, I think it's a little bit too high up. Let's go back a step and let's grab our uh, multi-cut tool. And we're going to do the same thing but a little bit lower right there. Grab that edge, delete it. And let's take a look at what we've got. So you can see at this point right here we can use to bulge out and give a little bit more definition to the cheekbones. Just like that. If we ever need to do that. And as far as uh, as far as continuing continuing with <clears throat> the with the neck, we're basically just gonna take four, not not more, four four faces right here, and extrude and extrude the neck. And in the next videos, we're going to start building the body.